Today in court on Friday, June 13th, we heard a lot of forensic evidence uh, discussed. We heard uh, continuing uh, testimony from the state police chemist uh, John Soares, and we also heard from state police chemist Deanna Digon. Um, they talked about blood and um, what they call blood spatter, which is how the blood falls. Um, talking about blood spatter on the bed, the sheets, the walls, anything um, where there was blood. Uh, one thing that uh, Digon said was that there was spatter on the pillow that under Rachel's head that is called high velocity spatter. And that also there was a type of gunshot residue on the pillow that would indicate that a gun was shot within 18 inches of that pillow. Um, she will actually be cross-examined on Monday. We also heard from Jeremy Roybal. He is a fraud investigator for eBay, and he talked about how there were several PayPal accounts registered to the name Neil Entwistle, and those PayPal accounts had various email addresses associated with them. We also had um, one account that was in Rachel Entwistle's name. Uh, several of those accounts that were associated with the Neil Entwistle name had uh, complaints filed right in January 2006. And it, it was uh, to the point where eBay ended up issuing automatic refunds to the people on the other end, the people that were trying to buy products from that Neil Entwistle account because they didn't get whatever product it was that they were trying to buy. And the nature of those exchanges, whatever it was that was trying to be sold, was not revealed in court.